Following breaking news for you this morning out of Inkster. That's where sadly a little boy has died after he was found burned in a bathtub. And this morning, police are looking for answers. And that story does top our, our 6.30 half hour here on your Tuesday. Right now, the mother of that boy being questioned by police. Yeah, this is such a troubling story this morning. We're told that this boy, actually a baby, not even two years old, was found unresponsive late last night at a home on Avondale in Inkster. Nick Monticelli has been following this tragic story for us this morning. Tell us more about what you know about how this could have happened. You know, Rhonda, I think there's a lot of speculation this morning about how this could have happened. The neighbor says he thinks the boy somehow turned on the water and then fell into the bathtub, but nobody really knows right now. What we do know, though, is that the mother was taken into custody last night. We're not sure, though, if she was arrested or if she's now been released. The big question, though, that many ask is where was mom at the time of this? Was she in the house or was she not? This is shocking. This is very shocking to me. Bronson Swick has lived next door to this little boy for nearly two years, basically his entire life. Yeah, he was a little good growing little boy just running around playing, just running around playing. I had to say he was almost like almost two years old. Last night around 7 p.m. police got the call that the little one was face down in a bathtub. She was a good mother. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it was totally probably an accident. Uh, the baby was in there, you know, in the bathroom or whatever, probably by itself and got to turn on the water. And, um, you know, once he turned on the water, it, 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 it got him in there, you know. That, though, is one man's account. What's strange here is the boy was still face down in the tub when police got there. They are the ones that pulled him out. He had severe burns from what appears to be extremely hot water. Where everyone else was when this happened has yet to be determined. One person says the mother was inside. Another says she left the boy by himself. Uh, the matter is still under investigation. There was a bunch of family members in the home at the time. So we're, uh, we're interviewing them. It's going to take some time. What we do know is the boy just came home from Child Protective Services. Uh, that's our understanding. Uh, the, the, child, the children were just recently uh, put back in the home. Uh, so now we're, we're looking at that as well. That certainly is something very interesting that detectives will be looking into. Everett and Rhonda, there are so many questions and so many things that are troubling. That CPS factor, the fact that the water was so hot that the boy's body was burned in, and really, why didn't anybody try to save this boy before police got there? A lot of good questions. Hopefully we'll get some answers to them in a story that we're going to continue to follow. Nick, thank you.